The following operator training video on the Hobart MG1532 and MG2032 mixer grinders is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your Hobart mixer grinder. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. Your Hobart mixer grinder is constructed and designed to give long satisfactory service, providing it is properly used and maintained. This training video will cover the controls, operation, cleaning, and maintenance of the MG1532 and the MG2032 mixer grinders. The mixer grinder has a heater in the control box and another heater in the front control panel to keep the controls dry. They are automatically on when the machine is electrically connected. The mixer grinder should always be connected except when performing assembly, disassembly, cleaning, and maintenance of the machine. The electrical control of the mixer grinder consists of the mix start button, which rotates the mixing arm, the stop button, it turns the mixer grinder off as well as the foot switch if it had been off. The mix grind start button, which starts rotating both mix arm and worm, pressing the stop button stops the mixing and grinding. The foot switch, when on, the mix start and mix grind buttons are inoperable and the accessory foot switch can be used to mix grind only. The indicator light shows when the foot switch is on. Push the stop button to turn the foot switch off. And finally, here is the hopper lid interlock. This switch requires the hopper lid to be closed before the machine can operate. Raising the hopper lid opens the electrical circuit and makes the machine inoperative. Before operating, the mixer grinder and its parts should be clean and the knife and plate need some preliminary lubrication. Also, before operating, make sure the wedge cylinder, which is marked top and bottom, is in the proper position. The top marking should be visible. The grinder attachment can easily be removed for cleaning. Use the spanner wrench to loosen the adjusting ring and then remove the adjusting ring, plate, and knife. Next, loosen, but do not remove the grinder attachment's two flange nuts using the spanner wrench. Rotate the cylinder clockwise and remove the cylinder. Then remove the worm. At reassembly, install the worm and then the cylinder. Make sure top is visible on the cylinder and that the cylinder's flange nuts are tight before assembling the knife, plate, and the adjusting ring. Use only the flange nuts provided. Two studs on the front of the machine allow storage of the spanner wrench and the pneumatic foot switch. The rubber seal at the drive end of the worm can be removed by hand for cleaning. Grasp the outer flange of the seal or use a dull screwdriver to pry the seal loose. Reinstall the seal before installing the worm. Before using the grinder attachment, take it apart and thoroughly wash it. The knife and the plate need some preliminary lubrication. Rub tallow or food-grade mineral oil over the cutting faces of these parts. When assembling the knife, be sure to turn the cutting edge towards the perforated plate. The notch on the circumferences of the plate must fit over the pin in the cylinder. Knives and plates must be sharp and true for proper cutting action. Keep the grinder attachment in a clean and sanitary condition. To remove the mixing arm, loosen the bushing retainer's two flange nuts and remove the bushing retainer. Raise the hopper lid and pull the mixing arm from the square drive end, lifting the mixing arm from the hopper. When reassembling, make sure top on the bushing retainer is up so the mixing arm runs straight between the round bushing and the square drive end. Remove the mixing arm after disassembly of the grinder, cylinder, and worm. Reassemble the mixing arm before assembly of the cylinder and worm. The MG1532 has a hopper capacity of up to 150 pounds of fresh meat, depending on the type of product. The MG2032 has a hopper capacity of up to 200 pounds of fresh meat, depending on the type of product. 
Second cut meat may be mixed in the hopper for any desired length of time. During the mix operation, the mixing arm rotates and the grinder worm does not. Continuous self-feeding occurs along with grinding in the mixed grind operation. Mixing of uncut or unground meat is not recommended. Grinding procedures are as follows. For the first grind, fill the hopper and close and latch the hopper lid. Overfilling will bend the hopper lid and may cause the interlock to open the circuit. Push the mix grind button to start grinding. Press the stop button to stop grinding. Second grind, fill the hopper and close and latch the hopper lid. Press the mix button. After desired mixing, press the stop button. Then press the mix grind button to start grinding. Press the stop button to stop grinding or activate and use the optional foot switch. Warning, disconnect the electrical power supply before cleaning or servicing this machine. In any cleaning operation after disconnecting the electrical supply, seal the receptacle to prevent entrance of moisture. To make this seal on Hobart supplied receptacles and pendant connectors, place the cover cap into position and turn the screw type sealing ring clockwise. Remove the following components when cleaning. The mixing arm, grinder adjusting ring, knife, plate, cylinder, worm, and the side feed hopper plug if used. Refer to your instruction manual, which came with your Hobart mixer grinder, for the correct method of removal. The mixing arm seal and the worm seal should be removed by hand for cleaning. Grasp the outer flange or use a dull screwdriver to pry the seal loose. The machine can be washed down with hot water or steam, as is customary in meat processing operations. When using detergents and sanitizers, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Rinse with clear water and allow to air dry. After cleaning the machine, apply food-grade mineral oil to lubricate the inside rim of the mixing arm seals and the worm seal where the mixing arm and worm will touch the seals. Reassemble the mixing arm seal, worm seal, mixing arm, and the bushing retainer. To reassemble the mix arm and worm seals, align the tab at the bottom of each seal with the notch at the bottom of the applicable seal hole in the end wall of the hopper. The arrow at the top of the seal points up. Squeeze the sides of the seal and push in. Push in the top of the seal. Make sure the seals are properly seated. After cleaning, a light coat of food grade mineral oil is recommended for the cylinder, adjusting ring, knife, plate, and worm before reassembly. This concludes operator training for the Hobart 1532 and 2032 mixer grinders. To obtain service parts information concerning this mixer, contact your local Hobart service office.